Hello friends, have you ever wondered what the opposite of praise is? Well, at first glance, I would think it's being angry with God, running away from God, having hostility toward God. But Isaiah 61 makes me rethink that. That chapter is a list of messianic promises, things that God was going to do for his people Israel through the Messiah. And it's actually the passage that Jesus reads in Luke chapter 4. And he says, oh yeah, and this is me, you guys. Now, it's a really familiar passage. It's to bind up the brokenhearted, to set free the prisoners, to proclaim the year of God's favor on everyone, to replace mourning with the oil of gladness. And tucked in there, it says this, to give them a garment of praise, instead of a faint spirit. Other translations call it a spirit of despair. And it just makes me wonder if maybe the opposite of praising God isn't hostility toward God or being angry with God. What if it's just when we go to that place of being tired and numb and overwhelmed and distracted that we miss God's presence that we miss the things that he's trying to do in our lives. He wants to clothe us with a garment of praise. Much like Paul says, clothe yourselves with humility, put on Christ. So our good Messiah wants to give us a garment of praise. And I think when we allow him to do that, when we put on that garment of praise, when we take steps into trusting and loving and thanking God, no matter what our circumstances, no, even if the circumstances don't get better first, but we're trying to praise, it revives our souls. It brings life back into our spirit. It wakes us up. My friends, I don't know what's going on in your life, but if you're in that place of feeling tired and overwhelmed and burdened and just numb and distracted, get into the presence of Jesus because he's the only one who can change it. He wants to clothe you with praise. And it's going to revive your spirit. And maybe, just maybe, if we take steps right where we are to try to praise God, to try to tell him we trust him and we love him and we appreciate him and we're thankful and we believe that even if these circumstances don't get better, that we know he has par purposes that are far greater, that he's working out in us and in our lives. Maybe that's taking a step toward that kind of reviving of our souls that we're looking for. So my friends, this day, walk in the light of Jesus and be the light to the world around you.